Welcome to an Inside the Red Raider special report. I'm Jared Johnson. Texas Tech announced a historic investment into the football program on Monday evening. Uh, and it was. It's historic. $200 million invested into upgrading the facilities and uh, some of the renderings. It's an early look at some of the renderings of the south end zone of Jones AT&T Stadium, of uh, the renovation of the football training facility, which is now going to be called the Dustin Womble Football Training Facility, um, and how they're all going to connect to make the largest continuous football facility in the country. Uh, it's being boasted as, uh, and perhaps rightfully so, when you hear about everything that's going to be in, I'm going to highlight some of these things, some of the main uh, points about the new facilities, at least that I, that I took away from uh, the social media, media video announcement by Kirby Hoka at uh, Robert Giovanetti, uh, Joey McGuire was interviewed, a trio of uh, current football players were also interviewed about it, and uh, just just this, this huge renovation project as uh, uh, part of the campaign for Fearless Champions, um, the, the, the fundraiser that's been going on for years that's really uh, improved the athletic facilities on Texas Tech's camp campus. But uh, yeah, just looking at this uh, announcement, uh, the fact that it's going to be the, the largest facility, it's going to be, uh, they're saying, the best in the conference. Like I said, they're, that's what they were, uh, they were advertising it as. And then also among the best in the country overall. Uh, it's really impressive. Um, some of the things that I really liked about it, uh, I, I know this is something that's debated like on, you know, on the message boards on Inside the Red Raiders, but um, the, the huge double T uh, is... Now, the old one's going away, but they're bringing in one, a replica, basically. It looks, at least in, on the renderings, it looks identical to the old one. Kirby Hook had said Monday night in the video that uh, it might actually be bigger than the original, but it's going to be on top uh, of the structure there in the south end zone. And it's going to be four stories over there. Um, there's going to be a couple of video boards uh, next to, uh, on top of the structure, next to the to the double T scoreboard. Um, there's going to be a lot of things in that in those four stories uh, of that structure. Uh, one is going to be the uh, it's going to be new home and visitor locker rooms, and that those the players are actually going to take the field through the like a club level, which is another part of that uh, renovated South End Zone. It's a club level. There's going to be uh, coaches' offices. Um, man, uh, suites, of course. Um, there's going to be a seating area for recruits who are visiting uh, for during games. Uh, there's a there's a lot going on down there um, in, in the South End Zone uh, alone. So it sounds really impressive. It sounds like it's going to be uh, really something that's going to be a bright spot for Texas Tech in terms of at, at the Jones and uh, especially in recruiting, which is a lot of what we're talking about, right? taking care of the current and you know future uh, players, but also in terms of wooing recruits. So, and then the football facility, the new football facility. So they're gonna have to, to demolish the South End Zone, how it is now, they're gonna have to demolish the football training facility, which that thing's needed to be upgraded for a while now. Um, but they're gonna build it on that structure, uh, on the where the football training facility is right over there. Um, and it's gonna be two stories. And they're still going to have a lot of their weight training uh, right there. It's right there by the practice fields and by the indoor practice facility, which all three of those structures, the Womble football training facility, the SPC or the indoor practice facility slash uh, indoor track, and then the Jones are going to be connected. And uh, part of the way it's going to be connected is through a sky bridge, which some people have had a problem with that, but I don't have a problem with that. I think that's cool. Uh, it's going to make it less congested on game day. I know uh, for me, uh, that's good. Well, I'm always trying to hustle. I have to go across the Jones from uh, my pregame radio show. So, And sometimes if we're running late then, or, or if we're too early, the, the players are running in an hour or we're trying to get to the postgame presser. Players are coming through uh, and they're in the way. So anyways, for me, I was like, hey, that's great. I don't have a problem with it. there being a sky bridge. And it makes sense for the players to be able to get back and forth, you know, without – having to jump in the, the crowd, basically go through the crowd. And they're still going to be celebrated. They're still going to go through the crowd to get out of the field at the club level, which I like. So, I, I mean, me personally, I think that's cool. Um, but going back to the football facility, 
the Spike Dykes Mini Room is going to be on the second level. They're going to have a TV studio for social media and post game uh, like video content. Uh, let's see what else. There's a lot. There's a lot going on uh, up there. Um, oh, they're going to have uh, like player like position meeting rooms there. So uh, there's a there's a lot of really cool stuff going on. New locker rooms for the players, which is good. I know they just did that uh but it was more of like a quick fix a bridge to get to this point so 200 million dollar investment into the football facilities is just a major thing it is historic like they uh advertised it or, or said it was uh you know there's a lot of people that went into this i know two headliners like i said dusty womble and also cody campbell who don donated was it 25 million uh, it's the cody campbell field uh, now at, at the Jones. Uh, so, you know, just hats off to all of you who invested, whether it be 50 bucks or you know, all the way up to like the, the multi millions. Uh, all of it mattered. And uh, I think it's going to be huge for Texas Tech football. And I, a lot of people pointed this out, and I agree the timing is really important. So um, it looks beautiful, uh, it looks very impressive. I think it's going to be a, as I can't remember who it was. Uh, whether it was the president or the athletic director, or it was you know Hoka, but it is going to be a landmark on campus. I mean, that's going to be something like even people that don't like tech, like are, like tech's rivals uh, within the conference, are like, man, that looks pretty amazing. So um, it's hard to argue with it. I know that some people will find some negatives with it, but um, you know, I, I'm really excited for the athletic department for Texas Tech, for you, the fans. I think it's going to be a huge deal for Texas Tech. Great timing with all the conference realignment stuff going on. And then I have to uh, mention, I like that they're starting pretty much immediately right after this upcoming football season. They said they're going to start the demo. And then, uh, I, you know, what I've heard so far is the hope is that it's all completed um, in time for the 2024 season. We'll see if that happens or not. Uh, you know, these things, these uh, construction things, especially in a renovation and con demo and construction on, uh, at this level, you know, they take times. There's there's always something that, that happens, it seems like, you know, that, that makes it take longer than the original target date. But, you know, definitely you'd have to think by the 2025 season it would be in place. So really exciting things. There are a lot of exciting things happening with Texas Tech Athletics and Texas Tech football. And this is just another example of that. But it's a huge one. It really is. I mean... Um, just really impressed with the investment into the football program. But for now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching, and until next time.